Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you all are doing well. And I don't know, I'm feeling my hair today. Yep, yep, I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling my hair today. Anyways, in today's video, we are going to be trying out the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. And it's not just any powder, it's a bait setting powder and smoothing powder. Anyways, so we're going to be trying that out and see how well it wore throughout the day. But before we get started with the video, I highly, highly recommend you subscribe to my channel. It'll help me greatly. And ring that bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video because sometimes I'm consistent and sometimes I'm not. And give this video a thumbs up if you like vegan, natural, clean makeup. And let's get started with the video. Alright, so I did get this at Sephora. This is called Kosas. This is their Cloud Set Baked Slash Smoothing Powder. This does retail for $45 and you do get uh, 0.33 ounces or 9.5 grams. When I first got this, it looked pretty small to me. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was expecting in all honesty, but it looked quite small to me at first. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. Um, as you can see, the component is very transparent. It has this very nice kind of like purplish see-through packaging which I don't know why but I kind of like it. So this does have some highlighted ingredients uh, such as bamboo stem extract uh, where it absorbs the excess oil uh, leaving the skin matte and feeling soft, passion fruit extract reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and Chinese peony which helps visibly minimize the pores. And I actually don't mind that it doesn't have a mirror in there. I know some people would say otherwise but for me I don't really mind it because I don't really use the compacts um, mirror anyways and I also don't bring it around with me so for me I'm okay with it now with this this does come in 10 shades and with this they advertise it as a very sheer um, powder so there is some pigment in their shade ranges but it's sheer enough that you could kind of get away with it uh, depending on your skin tone of course so the shade that I got is in feathery it is a sheer light medium so if you're light or like medium, you can still get away with this. Um, if you're a little bit darker, you can always use this to like under your eyes or anything like that. But of course, everyone has their own uh, preferences. So again, I'm in light medium, feathery. And what this is supposed to do is control your oil, keep you matte, but not take away the glow. It's supposed to blur your pores. This does deliver a natural finish and it's supposed to act like a loose powder without being loose so everything's all pressed it's supposed to act like a loose powder but it's in a pressed compact which is really great because you know loose powders just fly around everywhere and all that stuff so the fact that it's in a nice compact is really great it's very soft because it is a baked formula and because of that it is very light very airy it's not gonna make you feel cakey or anything like that so with that being said let's see the demonstration Okay, so I have a bit of concealer here, so I'm just laying it dry for a bit. I've seen a video where the, I think the owner and the founder of Kosas said that like, it's supposed to have the effects of a loose powder, but in a compact form. So I really, really have high expectations of this, hoping that it will set everything, this make me look... I don't want to say cakey, but it doesn't look too dry underneath the eyes and everything. So I'm strictly going to be using this all day. And I've used my Guerlain foundation. So hopefully, it's a good combo and everything goes well. So let me just blend out my concealer and everything and put on my blush and all that. And then I'll start to apply the powder. All right, so the blush is on and everything. So what I'm gonna grab is a, for my, under my eyes, I'm gonna grab a bullet brush and then for the rest of my face, I'll use a taper brush to set everything. And make sure nothing is selling to these fine lines. So picking up some of that product. There's not a lot of fallout, which is surprising. And just right underneath the eyes right there. Tap off any excess and I'm gonna set. There's no smell to it either, just so you guys know, because I know some powders have like um, a fragrance and everything. So we're really gonna go set this. And I'm not gonna go in with my translucent powder from Chanel or anything to see if this will 
set everything on its own. I did use some on the tip of my nose and everything like that. Force of habit, really, because I usually like to brighten up a little bit there, so that's why I use the translucent powder. Not gonna use that with this, but of course we're gonna try it on the sides of the nose and all that, see how that holds up. It's gonna be such a weird day not using my translucent powder. So initial thoughts, it's definitely blurring. It's setting quite nicely. It doesn't look too cakey or anything. Color's not so bad by the looks of it. So now I'm going to take a tapered, tapered brush. Wow, my Asian side came out. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face. Um, I'm still going to use my translucent powder um, in shade 40 from Chanel to set my contour and everything. But for the rest of my face, like underneath here, chin and all that stuff, I'm going to use the powder. So the brush that I'm using is the Tapered Face by Sigma, the F25. And I'm just going to slightly sweep over the chin there. Slightly sweep over here, but I'll, I'll sweep over the nose a little bit. So it definitely doesn't feel cakey or anything. It feels very, very lightweight. I just hope I picked the right color. Even though it's a sheer formula, I still hope I picked the right color. Underneath the eyes does not look cakey or anything. It's not making the concealer settle on in my fine lines, which is great. So, so far, so good. And obviously with my wear test, I don't do any touch-ups or anything like that. So we're gonna see how longevity of this is within the 12 hour period and what point do I see my foundation starting to break up. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this is now almost one o'clock and this is my first check-in. So I've had this on for about six hours now and taking a closer look on my face here, my under eyes look amazing. Like they don't look dry at all. Holy moly. So my foundation is not selling to my fine lines. Um, I can see that the rest of my face is still set. My pores still look pretty good. I can see a bit of sh um, a wear, a wear to it, of course. My forehead looks bomb. And yeah, like I, I, I have no words. I'm actually quite impressed with this right now. Like nothing sound to my fine lines. And again, my pores still look pretty good, pretty matte. Um, you can see maybe a bit of wear, but for six hours, this is not, not that bad. I'm quite impressed actually. So hour six, we're still going pretty strong. So we're gonna see in the next five-ish hours how well this holds up till then. Okay guys, so this is now 7.10 at night. I have had this on for 13-ish hours. Yeah, about 13 hours now. And first of all, it's been a long, 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 long day. So let's see how well this powder uh, made my foundation look for 13 hours. So the forehead's looking pretty darn good. I must say that. Um, and I'm pretty sure my eyeliner is smudging, but it's fine, it's okay. This is not what the video is about. My nose is looking good as well. So also, the fact that I only set this with the powder, it doesn't look like the mask took that much of the foundation away, because usually I like to really set my foundation with the translucent powder, and it doesn't look like that and of course using that, it sets everything and you know, it doesn't really budge. With this, there's a bit of it took away some of the foundation but again for a pressed powder not that much quite impressed by it, with that actually you can definitely see that there is a bit of wear right here a um, bit of a glow um but again for 13 hours it's actually holding up you know a little bit beyond my expectations i was expecting a lot worse in all honesty um because i've always set my foundation with translucent powder um, or if I, or if I did a pressed powder, I would use the translucent powder as a, it's kind of like a security blanket to ensure that it doesn't budge throughout the day. But you know, just the powder by itself, it's not that bad for 13 hours. Um, the foundation did finally start to break up around the nose right here, like, like it normally does. So my pores around here are still looking pretty blurred out. It's not that bad. Um, again, there's some breakage around the nose here. 
Um, I did put my hand on my chin quite a bit, so I would assume that the foundation would be um, taken off a little bit. But you know what? It, for the most part, like for a normal day, uh, the powder actually held the foundation quite well. Not many people are going to be out wearing their foundation or their makeup for 12, 13 hours. Um, but for it to hold up this well um, under these conditions and you know constantly putting on and off a mask it's not that bad and you know what even with a bit of shine just kind of like pat or just go in with the powder again and just kind of like um, lightly dust over you know what it could still work out um, so I actually don't hate this surprisingly I actually unexpectedly kind of like this powder. I was initially going in thinking, okay, so I don't know what the rave is about. Like, I don't think it's gonna work for me. Like, pressed powder by itself, I don't know. And now, I'm eating my own words. I kind of like it. So if you guys can and have the money to, uh, I would suggest trying this out. They, they do have a variety of different shades again, and it goes on quite sheer. I don't want to say it's translucent, but the pigment is sheer enough. That it won't really show so definitely give it a try if you can i really really like this product surprisingly again so anyways you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video but before you leave i hope that you check out these other two videos right here and i will see you guys in the next one bye